the force Kz. The induction of the K-rod is zero at the equator and maximum at the poles. The deviating effect of the K-rod varies as cosine of the compass course. The induction of the Earth's vertical field on the K-rod reduces by cosine of the angle of heel. At small angles, this value is assumed to be 1, as cosine 0 is 1. I equals the ship's angle of heel. Deviation, positive Kz. The effect of K-rod is zero at the equator and maximum at the poles. The deviating effect of the K-rod varies as cosine of the course. The induction on the K-rod by the Earth's vertical field reduces by cosine of the angle of heel. The deviation shown is for a vessel heeled to starboard. For a vessel heeled to port, the curve is exactly opposite of the one shown. I equals the ship's angle of heel. The effect of the K-rod is zero at the equator and maximum at the poles. The deviating effect of the K-rod varies as cosine of the course. The induction on the K-rod by the Earth's vertical field reduces by cosine of the angle of heel. I equals the ship's angle of heel. Deviation, negative Kz. The effect of the K-rod is zero at the equator and maximum at the poles. The deviating effect of the K-rod varies as cosine of the course. The induction on the K-rod by the Earth's vertical field reduces by cosine of the angle of heel. The deviation shown is for a vessel heeled to starboard. For a vessel heeled to port, the curve is exactly opposite of the one shown. I equals the ship's angle of heel. 